In this lecture, we are going to see what is a constructor, different types of the constructor. And at the end, we are going to execute the program which will be containing the different types of the constructor. What is a constructor? It is a special member function which can initialize the object of the class. It is special because it is having the same name as the class and no written type, not the void also. Member variables can be initialized by the constructor or they can be set afterwards. The constructor get invokes when the object of the class is being created. Let us see the example of the constructor. Here, what we have done, we have created the class student. Within this, the two data members that are being declared as the private. Then in the public, what we are going to do, we are going to define the constructor. Here, we can see that the constructor is having the same name as the class. As already we have seen it on to the last slide that the constructor is not having the written type. Not even the void to. Types of the constructor. There are three types of the constructor, which are the default constructor, parameterized constructor, and lastly, the copy constructor. Let, let us see one by one constructor in detail. That we are going to see is the default constructor. As the name indicates that it is a default, the default constructor is not going to have any arguments. It is used to initialize an object of the class with the legal initial values, which can be initialized to zero also. Here is the example of the default constructor. What we have done, we have created the class student then the data members which are being declared as the private in the public the constructor is being declared to that the initial values the data members were here they are being initialized to zeros so this is being called as the default constructor Parameterized constructor. As the word indicates that parameterized, it is going to accept the arguments. It is going to initialize the data members of the object with the arguments that are being passed to it. Here is the example of the parameterized constructor. The Data members are being declared under the private and the constructor is being created. Which type of the constructor? That is the parameterized constructor and three different parameters are being passed. Here, the variable R, it is going to assign the value to the data member role number. Next the string n this n variable it is going to assign the value to the name and m it is going to assign the value to the marks the last constructor that we are going to see is a copy constructor the copy constructor is going to take an object as an argument and the values they are going to copy from one data member of one object it into the another object. The reference variable it is being used as an argument to the copy constructor. 
here is the example where we can see how to use the copy constructor what we have done we have created the copy constructor then within the copy constructor the syntax that is being written that is the class name the reference variable is being given and the object is being created with the help of this object the data is being copied it into the roll number write a c++ program using the constructor to display the student data in this we are going to use the three constructors that is default parameterize and the copy constructor let's start writing with the program for that we will be requiring the preprocessor directive that is io stream then using namespace std class class name within this we will be declaring the data members as private integer roll number string name and the float marks the next we are going to declare the constructor the constructor are always declared as in the public the first constructor that i am going to declare it as the default constructor the constructor is having the same name as the class what is the class name it is having the class name as student for here we are writing the default constructor name also as the student to understand we will be writing it over here with the help of the comment as default constructor within the default constructor we are now going to initialize the values to 0 roll number as 3 and sorry roll number as 0 and marks is equal to it is in the integer format so we will be writing it as 0.0 next what we are going to do we are going to declare the parameterized constructor student then the arguments we need to pass over here how many arguments we will be requiring we will be requiring the three argument the first argument is the int r then the string n and float m which type of constructor it is it is parameterized constructor within this what we are going to do the arguments that are being passed over here the values will be assigned to the data members that are being declared under this it will be roll number is equal to r name is equal to n marks is equal to m the next constructor we need to define it is the copy constructor how we will be writing it for that it will be student within the rounded bracket we will be writing it as student then the reference variable and the object we are going to create which type of constructor it is it is a copy constructor then what we are going to do we are going to write it like this that is roll number is equal to as dot that is object dot the variable that is roll number next the name is equal to as dot name next 
marks is equal to s dot marks this is how the copy constructor is being written now the next that is the data is being how the data is to be written that is part we have written now how to display the data for that we have to write it like this within this we will be writing the see out statement roll number then the variable name and end l the next see out statement is for name and l next the out statement is for marks after this we need to declare the main function int main in this we will be creating the objects the first object that i am going to create is for invoking the cop the default constructor next is for the parameterized constructor here the parameter that i am going to pass as one then the name and the marks then the next is for the home it is for the copy constructor over here what parameter will be passed we are going to pass the object that is being created earlier whose data we want to copy we want to copy the data from the object to to over here now we will be accessing or invoking the display function to to dot display stood three dot display and finally it is going to written the value in the form of the zero let us build the program and see what output we are getting as there were no errors relating to the program the program is being built successfully over here the first output that we are seeing it as roll number is equal to 0 and mass is equal to 0 why because over here we have been initialized that values to 0 the next over here the second values that we are seeing it as roll number 1 name as ramesh and marks is equal to 80.5 why because this data is being given with the help of the parameterized constructor and the third values that we are getting because of the copy constructor this is how the constructors are being used within the program now we need to see the destructor destructor it is a member function of a class the name is tilde it is being followed by the class name why we are using this destructor because we need to destroy the objects that have been created by the constructor that's why we use the destructor within a program
it receives no parameters and it is not going to return any value this is the important thing that we have to remember while mentioning the destructor within the program that there is only one destructor per class no overloading is being allowed in the last lecture what we have done we have created the constructors the same program we are going to consider and we are going to destroy the constructors one by one for that what we have to mention it within the program first thing that we have to use the tail operator then the class name within the curly bracket the c out statement that i am going to write it as destructor and l to understand we will write it over here as destructor let us build the program and see what is the output this is the output that we are getting how many constructors we have created we have created this three constructor default parameterize and the copy constructor now we need to destroy that three constructor so over here it is being displaying the statement for the three times next you might get a thought that why we have written only one destructor over here because in a program there will be only one destructor that we have to mention so thank you